channel so my name is Tamara and if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe um today I'll be showing you how to get this copper auburn autumn inspired look so I'll see you in the next clip you're really gonna have to forgive my voice because your girl is sick it's flu season or whatever but I'm really gonna try my best to sound decent <laughs> This pre-made 613 wig is from Monster Hair on AliExpress and I have to say it did not come smelling funky so I'm really excited to see how this hair is going to turn out. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the packet. The hair is really soft considering it was really, really cheap. Um, I got it for about £60. I forgot to mention that you will need hot water, but I've gone ahead and poured boiling water straight from the kettle into the bowl. And please note that the hair, the hair is short, so I'm only using two bottles of dye. If you have longer hair or fuller hair, you might need like three or four bottles, depending on how strong you want the colour to be. To begin with I did pour about half of each bottle into the hot water but I got really irritated by how it looks like it looks all like wormy is that just me like I just couldn't stand it so as soon as I poured as much as I could I quickly went and stirred it in Bear in mind that the stirring process was sped up, so please take your time when you're stirring and make sure that everything is dissolved so you don't get blotches of dye and end up dyeing your lace because that is not cute. Once the dye was mixed in, I did do a patch test with a strand of hair, but I wasn't really satisfied with the colour that came out. I thought it came out a bit too light orange, so I went and added a bit more of the cinnamon dye and, a, and then just a little bit more of the French Cognac so that the colour didn't end up coming up completely brown. I did do another patch test just to make sure the hair came out perfect because I was high key tired. It was like 6am and I just wanted to throw the wig in and go to sleep. Ignore me when I said that but um, do not rush dyeing the hair or it will not dye properly. So I was super happy with the colour and I went ahead and dipped the whole wig in. Tips first slowly just to make sure that every single strand of hair was touched. If you do it quickly, you risk some of the hair being completely untouched. Be careful when it comes to dipping the wig in because the water is very, very hot and you will burn yourself. As you can see once all the tips were coloured I went in and pushed the wig completely underwater using the comb because the water was so hot and I burnt myself so many times and you literally just I, I screamed a lot.
after dipping the wig in several times to make sure it got as much color as it did i did notice that the front of the hair did come a bit lighter that's probably how the wig came so i did go ahead and add more dye just to darken the front remind me of my foolishness because <laughs> after a while I just got bored and I started playing around with the hair because dyeing hair does get tedious make sure you inspect the hair as you go along separate the strands especially in the front just to make sure everything's colored and you, it's the good desired color you're going for um, I, I just mixed it around just to make sure it got as much color as possible because I didn't want it looking very diluted but I was pretty satisfied with how it was looking Once you're happy take out the hair from the water do bear in mind that the water is very very hot still so squeezing water out of the hair is going to be a complete nightmare as you could see i was literally burning and spilling water all over the place once i squeezed all the water out of the hair i did go and rinse it with freezing cold water just to make sure that all the dye stayed in place because rinsing out with hot water just tend to make the dye run a bit This is what she looks like, all ready to be customised and rinsed out. I was really, really happy with the colour that came out. As preference, I do prefer to use my cork mannequin head when it comes to customisation. I just find it easier and sturdier than my styrofoam mannequin over there who's looking very, very ugly. I did go ahead and customise the wig because the wig did come a little bit dense in the front but it's not too bad. Once I was done customising the wig, I used my Tresemme blow dryer to blow dry the hair. I do use this on my natural hair because it doesn't steam up and leave my hair feeling very, very dry. Once the hair was completely dry, I did go in with a little bit of my favourite hair serum, the Argan Oil of Morocco. It is a bit expensive, but it's totally worth it. The hair doesn't end up greasy and it leaves your hair smelling 10 out of 10. scary um so it's just for the close-up but i'll just show you how i installed the hair the hair looks like a mess because it hasn't been styled yet so bear with me i know i look like i could run electricity through my hair this is what the wig looks like installed i am 100 percent in love with this color this is what i was looking for um under the ring light you can see different tones and i'm really really happy with the way it turned out mm -hmm. 
So meets Copacabana. Yes, I do name all my wigs. Angela Day named this one. We are 100% in love with her. She came out exactly how I wanted. Yes, I do know that there's a little bit of lace left on the side, which I did cut off after filming this video. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your mum, your dad, your uncles, your aunties, your brothers, your sisters, their friends, their cats, their dogs, everyone. Thank you guys. Love you. Mwah. Never gonna catch me slipping, slipping, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mariah Carey ain't got nothing. Inches, yes, girl. Hey, get a YouTuber. It's upside down. Whoops. Oh, pfft. <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> you should get acted up on it, Humor, humor effects. Why can't I get the flipping? Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. So it came to about 13 and a half. Isn't it?